Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll be showing you the tier list for the swords in Blocks Fruits. This is completely my opinion. If you disagree, tell me why in the comments below. I'd really like to hear your guys' opinion on this. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Also, I've just created a new website, so if you would like to, feel free to check that. It's a top link in the description below. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Alright, so we're starting off with the commons. I'm going to put the katana and the cutlass are pretty bad swords. They're the very first swords most people get in the game, probably. I cannot see the the other sword. But the dual katana is basically a slightly better version of the katana, and they're both pretty terrible. Alright, next we have the uncommons. The iron mace. That... I will put in F tier, top F tier. The shark saw, it's not bad since you can get it in first C. I'll put it in C tier. The twin hooks, I'm definitely putting that in somewhere, probably A tier. It's pretty good, you can get it in the third C, and blah blah blah. The triple katana is only slightly better than the dual katana. Right next we have the rares, the jewel-headed blade. I honestly do not remember this very well, but I think it's from the first C, and I don't think it's too great. So I'll just put it in the bottom of C tier. The gravity cane is pretty bad, to be honest, for the second C boss sword. It's just not very versatile at all. The trident, it's fun to use, but requires a lot of aim, so I'll put it just below the shark saw. Long sword, it's alright, I guess. Just above the shark saw. The pipe, actually this, this weapon in the first seat, it's pretty good. I'll put it above gravity cane. Warden sword, that's, the warden sword's alright, I'll put it above trident. Solcane. Solcane, oh my goodness, it is one of the best stunning swords. Put it S tier straight away, you know. Now the Dragon Trident, that's going definitely in A tier no matter what. It's basically pole V2, but weirder. It pushes, it's a mix between pole and kabucha. So I'll just put that in A tier. The Jito, it's not good for PvP, but it's good for the teleport move. So I'll put it in B tier. Alright, next we have the Legendaries. Bicento, version 1 and version 2, both suck for a Legendary. So I'll put it in bottom B. Next is the Buddy Sword. It's pretty good. Definitely in A tier. I'll put it above the Twin Hooks. It's very recent addition to the game. Cavern Dart, definitely S tier. Very good sword. <laughs> I love the combos with it. Pairs perfectly with Kabucha. It's I I just love it. Coco, to be honest, it's slightly better than it's made out to be, but it's still not the best. Even after the buff with control. So Coco will go under Twin Hooks. Next is Dark Dagger. Dark Dagger's fun to use, requires a lot of aim, like something like Buddy Sword, or Soul King, or something like that. But it's very fast, it works well with Superhuman and things like that. So I think I'll put it above Dragon Trident. Yammer, the combo potential with Yammer is awesome, all the moves, well, move the opponent so you know where they're going to go and stuff like that, great with a Dragon Breath and other stuff, or Electric Claw as well, Toshida, 
amazing with electric claw. Like, my goodness. This is very powerful with it. Oh, um, I'm gonna move Yammer above Solcane because Solcane's mainly for combos and stunning, whereas these are for PvP. The Midnight Blade, it's alright. The best thing you can use it for is basically uh, combos with Doe. So that's kind of not very great. I will put it above Coco. Next is Pole First Form. Don't get me started about Pole First Form. It is absolute garbage for a legendary. I I don't even know why they put it as a legendary. I think they should have put it as a rare or something. But I am putting it below Warden Sword. Next is Pole Version 2. This is great for stunning and PvP, so it's somewhere around Kevinder. To be honest, the range ain't the best, so I think I, I'll put it just below Kevinder. Wando, the moves look like they could combo really well, but they don't. So, I don't recommend using this unless you're trying to get the true triple katana. Probably below Coco. Next is Rengoku. Rengoku is one of my favorite swords. I love it. Uh, but you need a lot of aim. The second move breaks can. Uh, observation Haki. But the first move doesn't. And can be dodged. It goes well with Superhuman. And Dragon Breath. It's, it's really fun to use. I really recommend it if you haven't tried it already. Just below Pole. Next is Saber. Saber, considering you can get it in the first C at level 200, is amazing. So I'm just going to put it right above Buddy Sword. Next is Sadie. Actually, before Sadie, I'm going to just move Wando down. Now, Sadie. Sadie. Looks like it would be worse than Wando, considering it's from a legendary sword dealer like Wando. But it's actually slightly better than it. The combo potential's not too bad, but it ain't the best either. So I'll just put it at the bottom of A tier. Next is She Sweet. This thing, oh my goodness. It's so fast. If you've got a really fast hand and good at fast combos, it is amazing. But I am not that fast, so I'll put it right below Cavender. Actually, I think I'll put it above Cavender. Spiky Trident, really easy to use, really good, works with so many different things, it's crazy. The combos on it are amazing, but it can be dodged by Observation Haki, both moves, and it works well with anything almost anything i should say now spiky trident instantly because of the ease of use i'm gonna put it above shisui next is the mythicals hello scythe not too hard to get but considering it's mythical it ain't the best the first move really big aoe good for damage the second move really hard to hit especially in combos and stuff, but the lower the health of the opponent, the more damage it does, so I'll give it the credit it deserves. Top A tier. Next is the True Triple Katana. It can be made with Wando, Sadi, and Shisui, or 300 mastery, then spend, I think it was either 2 or 3 mil on it. It's pretty good. I myself do not have it since I don't have Wando, but I would say that it is bottom S tier. Yeah, I think bottom S tier is a good place for it. Now, Dark Blade. Dark Blade is the Game Pass sword. It is Yoru, whatever you call it. it, goes by many names. And it's known by everyone because it is so good. This goes like top S tier. I think above Shisui. Yeah, probably something like that because of the stun on it, it's just very nice and you can even hold the moves down longer 
to either go further or for you to move instead. Really love it. I know this top is different than my top five swords, but that's because my opinion on a couple of them have changed, like my the pole has moved down from the top because I don't think it's actually that good anymore and other stuff like that. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.